It's also said, everything is Source talking. Source is talking to you, and to you, and to you just as well. This conversation with each being, each human, has been ongoing down through the ages. It is only of recent phenomena that people have forgotten this language of God, of spirit. In order to weave their nets of control and trap you in them, the Dark Ones had to break your contact with Earth, and thus with spirit. All are one. They introduced the concept of chance, of luck, and of gambling to lure you into this belief, among many others. Their ways are subtle, too subtle for mind-identified people to spot. Enter heart. All are one. The mind's game is separation. Thus came borders and boundaries of every sort to reinforce mind control. From nations and states, counties and cities, to clocks and calendars, days, weeks, and minutes. All of these are artificial boundaries used to separate you from yourself as well as brother from brother. They're not real. All are one. These are all part of the mind games that the Dark Ones are playing with you, dear ones. It is not necessary to be so, excuse me, it is not necessary to so completely fall in with them. Nor is it necessary or even advisable to try to conquer or defeat them. That too is a part of their ploy, a part of the setup, to have you place blame, any blame, even on them, just so it's outside of the self. Do you see? That is their theme and their keynote, separate you from your core, from your center. Never give you a moment's rest to touch bases with spirit, with inner light, with divinity. Create this crazy rat race, then manipulate you around in it, much like you do with rats in a maze. Well, step out. None compels. All are one. There are dark realities that you will learn or that some of you already know about extraterrestrials. This is often blown up into sensationalism, just as the news media does. Do you see the connection? It is just another way to manipulate you, to control your passage through the mind world maze. The aim is twofold. It is to split brother from brother, first of all. What? Did you not know all are one? What part of all do you think the negative ETs occupy? Some external part? They are you too, beloveds, just in other guises. So, center down, enter heart space, and let's continue. With the negative ET question, the negative ETs, along with your more earthbound Illuminati controllers, have managed to truly pit neighbor against neighbor. Do ETs really exist? And if so, are they all bad? Are they coming to take us over? If we think about such negative things, aren't we creating that? The dark questions are many, and none deserve an answer. Why is that? As long as you remain mind-based, which is where these questions originate, you will not win this race. It is not winnable on that playing field. That one is already claimed, and it is compromised by its owners. Mind is an artificial thing. It is neither real nor necessary to inner being, which has and is a much higher form of intelligence. 
Think of Adam and Eve and the apple. What did the serpent say? If you eat of that fruit, you shall know good from evil, and you shall be as gods. Be in heart and look at that. Let it speak to you. On the inner, you are great, powerful beings, my friends. You have knowledge and powers you are quite unaware of that have been trained out of your awareness by your controllers. It is time to reconnect with real self. Go within. The knowledge of good and evil, plus and minus, what are these? What do they represent? Now stay within. Do not go to mind for these answers, for mind is polluted. You will not connect with higher self, with source, there. Duality is what is meant by this use of good and evil. The duality of the material dimension, of third density, material form, coats of skins, that is, these bodies you wear. This is the story, or the remnant of it, for it has been altered, as have all Earth's historical records, of mankind's descent from higher density into the material plane. This is also the story of separation. Before this incident already had been created, light and dark, day and night, these do not separate, they but flow one into the other. Adam and Eve knew only good, only God. They were innocent of the stain of evil, of darkness. Take it as allegory. Belief is not at all necessary. Connect with your heart center. Hear this from there. Truth is a living thing. Just as a plant or an animal has life, so does a planet, a sun, and so does truth. All that is of light is alive, is living. You can connect with the truth within. When you do this, truth will take over. Truth will speak with you. When you give willing entree, assent, to something that is true, when you give it a chance, don't reject it out of hand. It goes to work within you, clearing out everything not like itself. It begins to clean house, so to speak, of all falsehoods that have taken root that oppose it. Truth is powerful. It works on its own. This is why truth needs no defense. It is more than capable of defending itself, even of clearing the playing field of all its opponents, of all untruth. Truth is a living being. You discover this when it is welcomed in. Your free will assent is necessary. Light is not pushy, does not try to persuade or convince. No, of course the mind doesn't comprehend that. And why are you listening from mind? If you want the best bang for the buck, as they say, center down. This is an entirely different lecture from there. You won't find out if you don't enter in. Thank you. And no, I do not know who was speaking.